Yes, welcome on back out here. Of course, Big V was not. Let's talk to our favourite team, the Warrandyte Venom Youth League uh, One Women's Team. Of course, they won a championship, uh, winning two, uh, three games, I should say. I almost said two games. So, one in three games to Coburg. And of course, we've got two of our favourites, of course, Maddie and Simone. He joins right now from the Warrandyte. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Marsh. Yeah, thanks for having us. Well, um, firstly, I guess this is no surprise. Uh, obviously, winning a championship. Uh, second one um, for the Venom. Uh, how's special was this year's one? I think it was extra special, especially for us too, yeah. because we were actually there in the 2013 championship that we won four years ago, and then to win again, to, especially together, it's just, yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah. And to go also, through it all and yeah. come, like, to win and then come back, come back down a little bit and just get like have new people in the team build it up and, and really our sisters as well yeah both of our sisters so both are of our sisters well, are in the so. team and it's just like been a whole build up and we've worked so hard and it's just been really good to finish it properly it's a real family isn't it out at Warrandyte obviously uh, I think in your team there was three sets of sisters yep. uh, in the team um how special was it to win a championship but especially uh, I guess especially with the family vibes uh, around Warrandyte's uh, I guess cheering you on Oh, definitely, and like especially across like all four teams, um, I think we have around like six or seven sets yeah. of siblings through like youth league men and everything. So, yeah, definitely special, and everyone's coming down to support, and was yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it was good. Everyone's all t all together, and there's, it's so supportive. Um, everyone, everyone's friends. It's not, it's we have such a good environment yeah. together, and we're not only just friends at basketball. We're friends outside of basketball, and th yeah. that's what really makes the team special. So yeah. Now, um, now you mentioned about your two siblings uh, that you do have. Um, now, how special was to share that moment? Oh, very special. And I think because her sister, Ali, hadn't played much throughout the season and smashed it in the grand final. And yeah. I think that was very like special just seeing her like improve so much yeah. as well. Seeing her step up in like when we really needed someone was really like really great. Like it was so good. Yeah. Such a good feeling just to know that like she could get the job done and everyone was so proud of her in the team. So yeah, yeah. it was good. Now, Simone, did you actually see that performance coming uh, in game two and three from your sister? I knew she had it in her, but I didn't think in game two especially when she came on, I was really like, wow, like you've really done uh, an amazing job. You've really like, you've really helped us out. Like we, I, I no doubt we wouldn't have won that game without what she did, so yeah. Now the other two sets of sisters I'm going to obviously speak about it, obviously Claudia, so Claudia and of course Michaela, yeah. um, I thought those two were key in both games, two and three, yeah. at Warrandyte, uh, how important were those two? They're such different players yeah. and I think that was so good about our team is that we were so diverse and everyone brought something different and especially from those two they brought such mm. different things to the game and especially when we needed it. Um, like Michaela's a big and Claudia's a guard. Yeah. So having that diversity between the two of them was really good. For sure. They definitely stepped up when when we needed them and yeah, yeah it was it was really good. And they're so much fun, like both of them having <laughs> in the team dynamics, yeah. like it's just it's yeah. great, yeah. Now, uh, three fine ones for let uh, both of you go. Firstly, now I know I do owe this team something. Um, we'll wow. review, we'll yeah. review that very, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I guess I still haven't lost a game for this youth league team um, throughout the throughout my three four years covering your games. Uh, I don't want to hype myself up on this one, but uh, how special to have Smash FM coming down to broadcast a game and especially winning games uh, week in week out. It's, it's really good and it's like nice. especially having you like set all up all, everything and then interviewing up after the game and just your involvement and support and just even after the, we won the grand final like you and Ali were there to support yeah. us and that was that was awesome yeah everyone knows who you are everyone yeah. knows when you come in and you no, set up we know we're gonna set up like yeah. we know smash is here like it's it's great everyone yeah. has a good time when you're around so it's, it's good yeah <laughs> And uh, two final ones. Firstly, uh, who had the most embarrassing or funniest moment in the team this season and what was it? Who had the most um, embarrassing? That's I tough. I think I can't like pick out a specific point or anything. Yeah. Uh, but I think Simone and Michaela Ooh. are probably our most just... <laughs> 
feel like Michaela. I, I feel like Michaela more so. Yeah. Okay, we'll just we'll just we're just gonna put Michaela out there. Um, <laughs> she gets she rowdy. gets pretty rowdy. <laughs> yeah. Um, she gets up to a few different things. So yeah, she's definitely she surprises us all, and I think the same time some of the stuff she does we're just like it's Michaela it's just, yeah it's just, just like we just got to put it, it down to it's Michaela yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the phrase it's Michaela. and uh, and one final one two part question firstly uh who's the comedian the clumsy one in the team I think you might have mentioned one of them um and and tell us a bit about your amazing coach uh Ange so for the first part a comedian in the in the team? No. I don't really know. I feel I like think... everyone everyone comes out with little funny one-liners yeah. or they do funny little yeah. things. So I feel like it could yeah. be anyone in the team. Yeah. Uh, for, and I especially think... clum or clumsy, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I think after the grand final, probably Meg. Yeah, Meg, Meg. was pretty clumsy after Ooh. the grand final. Yeah. And she was funny. Um, she specifically. Was just, and she, she was quite good. the comedian, so. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, yeah, we could give that one to Meg, yeah, And for as sure. for Ange, like, she's done an amazing job. Like, we've been coached by her for three years now yeah and it's just so good to finally like not only win the championship for ourselves yeah. but for her as well for like sure. she's put so much effort yeah. and like all the stuff she does behind the scenes just amazing and yeah like it's not only that she's not only our coach but she's our friend and yeah you know like sure. we went to her 30th and yeah. everything and it, you know it's just yeah it's really good yeah we have such a good connection with Ange and we've yeah. built up such a good connection with her since she came to Warren and I yeah. and I think that's sort of like this year winning yeah as Maddie said not just for us but for her as well because she deserves it so like with everything that she puts in um but yeah we just have such a good relationship with her and that really I think that really shines in the way that we play because we do play for her so yeah it's yeah. good well, thank you both of you for joining us. Celebrate the rest of the night. I know, uh, yeah, we I know you as well, and I do know I have to owe you so, uh, owe both of you something as well. Uh, but uh, yes, um, but thanks so much for joining us, and uh, congratulations. Thank you. thank you so much. We're back right after this.